morning. It's Tuesday the 11th of April and I had a lovely couple of days off over the Easter break. So I don't actually work on Mondays here in the shop and sometimes I come down and work in the studio but this time I decided to take the day off because my husband had the day off being a bank holiday and we had a lovely relaxed day whilst my children uh, were out spending time with their dad and their grandparents. So yeah, it was a lovely relaxed break and I'm back in the studio today and I've got lots of things on my to-do list. I've already packed some orders, so some orders that came in for the Devon Art Supplies side of the business and I've changed my Etsy banner so that's all done. Um, I wanted to sort of keep it with the spring vibes but then I wanted to sort of remove the Easter so that it was fresh and updated. And what else have I already done today? Served lots of customers. <laughs> it's been actually a really lovely busy morning. Uh, it's now 10.40 and technically I open at 10 a.m. Uh, but I've been opening earlier when I haven't had the children to sort of get ready in the mornings. So I've been opening earlier and just taking that time to get everything set up and um, open the shop and tidy it all up and things because when it's busier here in the shop, it does get a little bit messier where I think people sort of pick things up and move them around. So yeah, lots going on, but it's really, really positive and really, really good for the shop. I'm sure it, you all know how hard it is for high street shops at the moment, but we have Touchwood been really lucky with the support that we've been getting. And I've worked really, really hard to make the shop appeal to multiple people in lots of different uh, interest groups, which is why the shop is Betty's Books and Devon Art Supplies. And that sort of, that saved us really. I'm going on a bit, aren't I, for the introduction here, um, but I hope you will enjoy watching another one of my studio vlogs. Uh, thank you so much for all the lovely comments on my last studio vlog, Studio Vlog 16, and it just really means a lot to me that I know that you're there, that you're there watching them and that you're enjoying them and that you're getting something out of watching them, so that means a lot to me and gives me that boost that I need to keep filming the studio vlogs and just sharing what's going on really here in my life, uh, running the shop and running my small business. So I'm at work and the heavens have just opened. It's absolutely tipping it down with rain. And so I have the feeling that for the next five minutes at least, it might be quiet here in the shop. And so I thought I would quickly come on and open with you my Happy Mail. I ordered some earrings from the lovely Claire. I think it's Claire McNeil Designs. Hopefully inside it will actually say how you can have a look at her products. I found her on Instagram originally and loved the look of some of the things she was making um, because it was green and obviously I'm a sucker for anything green. <laughs> and so I took a look at her Etsy and she had them listed on there. So I treated myself as it was just coming up to my birthday. And so I thought I would get myself these earrings. So I'm just gonna unbox them now with you. Beautiful. So this is how it's come. And so it, mu it must be on Etsy as McNeil Designs. Let's have a little look inside. So I'm just opening up the tissue paper now. Oh, look. Yeah. So in here must be my earrings and let's have a pop this down here and there's a little thank you note. 
Dear Carrie Ann, thank you so much for your order and support. It means so much to me. Aww. I think that the creations that Claire is putting up on her Instagram are absolutely beautiful. So I will pop a link to her Instagram and her Etsy down below so you can take a look at what she's creating. I think her Etsy shop is quite new. I really like to support anyone who's, especially those who are just starting out or are new. Oh wow, these are amazing. They're even better in person. Oh, I'm just going to pop that one back on because it slid off. But just so I can show you how beautiful these are. Look, I absolutely love the colour. And I opted for silver because I much prefer the sort of the look of silver jewellery as opposed to gold. But you can opt for the gold version as well. And I just think these are absolutely beautiful. They're like a clay um, that she's obviously designed with certain colours and turn them into earrings. I think her packaging is really beautiful as well. Look at that packaging idea. Really simple but really beautiful. And it's also come with some information and care guide and then you get the different options for the backings which is really clever. I think that's great because some people prefer the plasticky ones and some people prefer the metal. Uh, so I think that's fantastic. So you'll be able to find um, on Instagram as McNeil Designs and on the website just here. And as I say, I ordered these through her Etsy shop and I think they're absolutely brilliant. I'm an absolute sucker for earrings and jewellery. I love jewellery and I'm always looking for new, different, custom-made jewellery. So this one, for example, this set here, this necklace and these earrings, I got when I went to, um, like, a. I was actually going to, I think it's called Clark's Village, but they had um, stalls there from independent makers and the lady I shared in a previous vlog her information and I've forgotten the name of it, but I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. So I absolutely love treating myself to custom made jewelry and these are gonna be worn very soon. These are heading to my collection, absolutely beautiful. So thank you so much to Claire for sending those to me. As I say, it was a treat to myself. Rain looks like it's about to stop. So I'm probably now going to have a little rush of customers who have hidden for the past five minutes whilst the rain was pouring. So I don't know how much I will be able to film for the rest of the day, but I'll do my best to bring you along through the day on the little tasks that I get up to. One of the things I really want to do this week is to sort out my rear studio, so the studio out here. So you've seen this area and how I've redone this area. You've seen in the very early stages vlogs how I've redone the kitchen area as well. But the rear studio is still in a sort of transition phase. So 
I don't know if I shared with you that I moved everything from the front of the shop that was all sort of sale items and I didn't like the way the way it looked having all the sale items at the front. So I've moved that into the studio currently just as a sort of out the way situation. And what I want to do is move all of that then into, so all the clearance stock into the under the stairs cupboard. So the under the stairs cupboard is actually where the secondhand books are. But my theory is I can just do a clearance cupboard and just have everything, secondhand books and all the sort of sale items and things. So clearance cupboard over there. That will free up then the rear studio again, because what I'd like to do is use it as a studio. And I guess what I've been doing is, I haven't rebuilt it as a studio because I wasn't quite there yet with my confidence as to, I didn't feel like I was good enough to have like the size of the studio for myself. I think I was making it more a part of the shop because I had like this fear that people wouldn't buy my things and it would just be a waste of space. And I needed to use it more as like a shop space to warrant the, uh, space if that makes sense because when you have a high street shop every inch of space needs to sort of pay for itself because you're obviously paying um well most people are paying rent obviously i'm paying off the final few months of my business loan and then i'll own the building outright but there's also things like business rates and obviously there's electricity and water bills and all of those sorts of things so you kind of think of it different to when you own a studio and you own a shop you kind of think about okay I need to maximise the potential for earning here in a shop. And that's kind of what happened with the studio space. I didn't feel like I was earning enough from online to warrant it being a studio. And so it became sort of like extra shop space for a long time. And then the sale things moved into there. And now I think I'm ready to convert it back into my studio. Things are going well in terms of my online sales. My website's doing really well, so I'm very, very grateful for that. Etsy, my my Imagine Design Create Etsy is still ticking along great. My Art and Design by KB Etsy, I think I'm at 27 sales now, which isn't too bad considering I only restarted that in January. Uh, so I started completely from scratch with Art and Design by KB Etsy in January of this year, and it's now April the 11th. So 27 sales isn't too bad. Uh, most of my sales, I have to admit, are coming from the website and in store. But hopefully over time, I will sort of gather some traction over on Etsy and people want to buy things from there too. But because of the website sales, I feel like there's enough uh, going on with the online side of the business now that I can warrant having a nice aesthetic studio and I create a packing space because before I was just sort of packing here on this table or on my counter desk. Uh, because it, I wasn't packing enough to have like a set space for packing. And I think now, you know, I'm packing two or three times a day for different orders that come in through the day. I try and get things out straight away. I don't save them up. I just go, go, go. I want people to get their items that they've ordered from me as soon as they possibly can. So I think it's time to have a packing space. That would be lovely. And in the studio, is my sewing machine in one area. I've got my heat press in that area now too, and my old printer. So you may have seen me talk before about my printer completely packed up on me. And the issue is that it only is able now to pick up copier paper thickness. It can't pick up sticker paper. It can't pick up uh, the 300 DSM that it was before. It was doing amazingly well. It's very, very old. I think it's about eight years old, that printer and it just sort of, there's something wrong with the, the roller that picks up the paper, and so it can only pick up copy of paper. So because it's an A3 scanner and printer, I kept it. I didn't want to throw it away because I still need the scanner part of it, and also it's handy, whilst I've got a load of ink still for it, it's handy for just printing things on copy of paper. So things that I'm gonna laminate for um, shop, like wordings and um, notices, or um, just your invoices and um, printouts that go in with the packing. So that's out there now, that printer. Um, but I do want to have the, the other end as more of a nice sort of 
set up for me to enjoy being in when I'm working or when I'm filming content for you guys. And as I say, a nice little packing space would be great. Um, in that corner, so that side is actually um, a setup where I grow all my seedlings because I love gardening. So this time of year, it's got lots of trays of compost with seeds in and they're hopefully going to start growing and then I can plant them out in the garden and the allotment. So yeah, that's one of the things I want to do this week. I want to get all of the clearance stock out of the studio into the clearance cupboard and then try and think about how I'm going to design the studio. I think I'm going to work with my patrons and see if they've got any ideas, if they want to help me to design it and I can look at different furniture that I can get for it. It's obviously going to have to go with this sort of green vibe that I've got going on. So greens and greys and whites um, are very much what I'm going for. And I'd like it if I could just flow this style in through there. I'm thinking maybe um, like a, a seating, like a small seat somewhere, either a two seater or a one chair, because it's usually only me at the moment. Although I am thinking about taking on staff and that's a whole other story. But yeah, it's, I don't know what to do yet. I'm, I'm up in the air about it still, I think a little bit. I do want to have it as a, space for me a studio for me but I need it to work for me too I need it to earn for me I don't want to be wasting the space because if I'm going to take away that small space from being like shop display then I need it to work somehow to be either aesthetically pleasing for filming reels and YouTubes or I need it to sort of be stock storage for all of my products maybe I don't know we'll have to see and I will have a chat to my patrons as I sort of rebuild it and work with them on how to redesign the studio space out there and then I'll share it with you guys once it is done I guess I will show you before and after photos and maybe some sneak peeks of in between but I think the majority of the process I'm going to share exclusively with my patrons so if you want to be a patron and you want to support me and my channel and all of the other things that I do you can become a patron from as little as two pounds a month and I will leave a link down below and there's like different tier options if you want to just support me and just be really really super kind <laughs> and just follow behind the scenes and things like that um, and there's a few other benefits too then you can join the two pound pa uh, patreon tier if you want to get a little surprise every month in the mail then there's a five pound moon glows tier and in that tier I will send you something uh, something different that hasn't been launched yet on the website so it could be a sticker an art print a postcard a card um, each month it will be different and have a different theme and it will be something new that hasn't gone onto the shop yet um, and then there's the top tier as well so there's little jewels so if you like a happy mailbox uh, that will come through in the post every month uh, which will have lots of different goodies in it then there is that tier that you can opt for as well i think it's 12 pounds for the uk and then there is an international option for the moon glows and for the little jewels as well but that's an option there for you if you want to support me and want to get yourself some happy mail then you should head over to my patreon and have a little look at the tier options but I'm going to get on with some work. I'm aware I've been chatting for way too long. I think it says 12 minutes on the screen. <laughs> so I apologise for chatting for so long. But, um, but yeah, let's get on with the day, shall we?
much for watching this vlog i'm gonna end it here because i've got some exciting things that i'm working on for the next vlog so i will show you everything that i'm working on in the next vlog uh sorry if i talked too much in this vlog i do apologize but thanks so much for bearing with me and don't forget to give this video a like comment if you can and subscribe that would be fantastic and it would be a massive support take care guys see you soon bye